Hey there everyone, this is Alcow and this is a white screen, it's pretty exciting. We got like three straight days of all digital action, so let's just get going with that, I guess. And today is the day brought to us by, you know, 16 by Hito Tsumami. And we got an image there that you can see a little bit, but also uh, he sent me a letter in Discord, which I took the liberty of copy and pasting into this note pad file because i'm always uncomfortable recording from discord in case like i get like a friend or something you know that doesn't want you know i am i want to respect you know all my friends privacy and not accidentally get up anyway i is hey now please ignore this until you get to my gift during the advent calendar lol and indeed i have i copied this but i didn't read it except that line maybe uh, it took me much longer to write this than to finish the drawing, so I'm only now posting it. It's such a tiny little message. I've always wanted to contribute to your advent, but just never really had a time. Well, I guess I found it. Going to try and keep this short, but I just wanted to say you and your art has been and still is a huge inspiration for me. I can't begin to express how much it helped me learn. I still go back frequently to check out ATXS and RSL pages. It's kind of funny because now you're like a professional colorist, like you're a professional art person. Well, I have all but kind of, I don't know, man, I, I kind of had to put the art world on the wayside. It's kind of, it's kind of weird how that shakes up. One of my favorite pages, absolute favorite pages is I think the last one from chapter five. Not exactly sure, but here's a link. A page called Portal Scamper. Please feature this in the video instead of my drawing. It is so much amazing. I could share some others that I really like, but I said I'd keep this short, so that's it. Mary Calmus. Oh, well, this took a turn. Um, unexpected twist here, so you don't want me to show. The image you send me? Okay, I mean, I'll I'll attempt to write to your request. Like, I'll follow your requests. Uh, you can see a little bottom part of the of the of the thumbnail. I'll look at it myself. You can't stop me there. But uh, for the advent, I'm gonna open up. Wow, a page from my old deviant art. Sure. Oh man, this page. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> I had fun with uh oh right that's what the name means void night arc and it's it's a double spread of page 164 and 165 right right uh, yeah I uh I had fun with my comic. And I feel like that's a little bit why I, uh, yeah, see, this is one of the pages, which is like a single panel, and then into the other one. I had fun with that comic. I would, we had a very freeform structure to making things. And uh, this is a bunch of character being sucked out of reality and being placed into a new one. Uh, I mean, yeah, I, looking at it after so long, like, I tend to be super harsh on myself, I, 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 I am the worst example of a, like, self-hating artist, I gotta admit, I feel like I had something going, can you identify? Well, maybe not identify. Like, no one really knows my comic. That's fine. But can you identify how many characters are in this panel? <laughs> I'm not sure if I'd be able to. Because there's some things around. Like, I just, I completely forgot the context of what's going on. Uh, so there's things I don't know what, what it is. Like like this thing, for example. I, I, I don't know what this be. But it be. But okay, wow, this, this took a really strange turn. Hido, thank you for the memories. Um, which may seem like a strange thing to say. Oh, I wonder if this is a plan to try and get me interested in working in my comic again. 
I mean, this is one way. But still, no, yeah, thank you. I, I will still take the time to take a gander at what you sent me. I'll just do it privately. As it's going to happen. What am I saying? I'm just saying words now. That's fine. Words are fun. What's going on here? Yeah, see, I don't know. Like, there's something to the old style of my comic that I feel like I... I can't recreate anymore. Like, there's just a rawness to it that feels absent when I try... This is so good. I, I don't know. Like, I think this looks so rad. Oh, uh, okay. Because of the dimensions of my recording window, I can... Like, there's just something just so weird about this. And I I dig it. Ah, oh, man. I, I wish I was better at things. All right. Well, spoiler. These are some of the games we're going to be having. I don't know why I just went through the whole thing like that. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's see. Thank you, Hitto, again, though. I do mean it. Uh, but yeah, seeking into the world of ambushes. Might as well just make a big video. Starts with Rumia. Who is so Rumia? Ambush! Is that so? It is in the Yoyami Dancers. Is a game I've seen. It's very, like, intense. Tadpole, treble, Toho fan game. Conjoined combination. Yoyami Dancers, Twilight, Omaku Dancers, Dodge Bullet, The Rhythm, Takedown. Everything that moves. I don't know why I had that selected. A rhythmical Danmaku action game. Is rhythmical a word? I understand what they mean, so it doesn't really matter if it is a real word or not, as long as communication is happening. Oh, cow! Oh, what a box! Uh, screams a fusion warrior. For the game called Box Cat. Box Cat is the most cute in the world. An action platformer game using various boxes. Box Cat. Box Cat is an adventure story in a strange world where everyone, everything is boxed. Uh, find out the gold box of what monsters and obstacles by wearing various boxes. Box Cat, Box Cat, Cat Box, Box Cat. Let's see, there's like an enemy Goomba Tank box. Box Cat is hiding in his box. Oh, future further DLC, huh? Plastic, plastic duck, quacking the ice. A new winter location for the ultimate high-tech rubber duck simulation. Enjoy plastic, plastic duck on the mountains. Relax by the fireplace and quack the ice. See, it's instead of crack the ice, like an icebreaker. But, you know, cracking the ice is dangerous. It says it's quack because it's ducks. I get it. Rose to coast. I was going to send you a message on a talk house, but it required a minimum of effort to be allowed to PM. So, eh, here's an above average roguelike instead. Uh, three separate instances of hugs and kisses. Aaron Beatrix, or just Beatrix down there. Streets of Rogue. I feel like I heard of that recently. Fight, sneak, and hack your way through randomly generated cities. It's like Nuclear Thrones meet those sex. Uh, mixed with the anarchy of GTA. Roguelike meets immersive sim and goes completely insane. I mean, they sure are making a point about how things are insane and really see. So it's like Street of Rage, except rage, instead of rage, it's rogue. There's two R words, but they mean completely different things. Uh, Sugar Frost is here. It's like a good remake. And the link to the gift to the game of Trials of Mana. Trial of Mana is a modern revival of the third game in the seminal Mana series. The game was released in Japan as Seiken and Setsu 3. It's been fully rebuilt from the ground up in 3D. Well, probably mean like in Polygon 3D. Like not in like you gotta wear 3D glasses, probably. And also Sugar Frost at this time added Woo. An old Mac OS game, now for Windows. It's kind of quirky. So this, I'm pretty sure... I've heard of, but I'm not sure what it is. Multiwinia and Darwinia. Two items, those two. Coming fast paced action with strategic battle planning. Darwinia features a novel and intuitive control mechanism. Graphical style rip from the 80s retro classics like Tron and Defender. Story concerning a tribe of nomadic sprites trapped in a modern 3D world. That's Darwinia, but what's Multiwinia? Multiwinia. 
Multiwinia. That's a hard word to say, isn't it? Sherfrost, thank you. You gave me two things, and I accepted it both. A wild day. So this is seven games. We I feel like we're approaching the amount of games where I might not do a trailer run. But Placid Placid Plastic Dog Quagalize is a DLC, and I don't think that's gonna have a trailer. So I guess we're fine for now. Boop. Let's look at things. Yeah, that's exciting. Oh, we got music going on here. Check it out. Yeah, everything appearing on screen one at a time. Imagine if this was the only way you had a walk. Wait, this is very Crypt of the Necro Dancer, right? Yeah, it's like Crypt of the Necro Dancer, assuming you have to move on the beat, but also being a weird, like, versus tadpole treble. It's super weird, like, it's just, it's so many things. It's super weird. Like, I, I, I kind of dig it, though. Like, kind of reminds a little bit of uh, Mega Man computer net network transmission, whatever, that series. Uh, like, you got, like, you got, like, this feel, you got person on one end, the other on the other. Very one's kind of moving from grid to grid. Except now there's a rhythm component. I mean, the trailer music is really catchy. Like, I'm just completely immersed in the beat. You can't really tell, but like, I I'm just bobbing. Like, it's like impossible not to do. If you are not bobbing right now, I'm going to assume you are a not human pretending to be a human on the internet. And you know what? That's cool. I get it. But yeah, no. Oh, let's see. That's the dancing part, I guess. Oh, wow. Yeah, this looks hard, actually. Like, you need to know what you're doing. But yeah, this game is already on, on my list. Like, it has been on my list ever since I got the trailer put in front of my face. Well, now I own it. Box Cat, I was not able to find a thing, so... Let's look for it. Box Cat, store page. Ooh, wait for it to load, then you scroll down. Open level. You did it, cat! You broke the box! Frame rate is weird. Oh jeez, the music is very loud. Uh, oh, that is... That is extreme. <laughs> okay, you're just... You're wearing your influence right on your face, huh? Because, like, that's almost the start of Mario 1. Can I see? Use the box as a double jump. That makes sense to me. You know what? There's something that looks alright about this. Yeah! So, it's a difficult platform game. Like, I get it. Lots of obstacles. Like, emphasis on the challenge. But you're also playing as a cute little kid. And you got environment. You know, you got green world, ice world, lava. All these boxes are really gooey. Oh, jeez. There's a lot of fire here. I don't know if a cat will enjoy it. I know cats tend to enjoy warm places. Oh my gosh! Oh, I don't like how the camera, where it is though. <laughs> Good luck if you have to know what you're doing, because oh, those, those bats are not moving. Yeah, so there's a lot going on actually. Like, we can see that. No, yeah, like, this is like a serious platform game. Like, there's a lot of stuff. I'm digging this. Box cat, in one word. Uh, Open level. Yeah, no, ah, uh, there might be something here, honestly. Like, I don't know how I feel about the emphasis, about, like, how easy it seems to die, but... If there's a cat game, I need to play. I feel like this one I would, I would consider. Box King from Box Cat. From King to Cat. Yeah, I get that. Oh, look at that. This is extremely uh, Super Meat Boy. So we might be getting some of the... But it's more levels than it would be in Super Meat Boy. But I feel like there is some maybe... Uh, not interpretation. What is it what I'm looking for here? I don't know. Inspiration? Maybe. Oh, that's too long. But this one's under 10 minutes. I hope. 
All right, Streets of Rogue. It just blew up a thing. Welcome to Streets of Rogue. All right, so, oh, you're giant now. That's gonna happen. Okay, so. Mega game! That hammer is very large. Okay, so, yeah, so like the, the randomly generated cities, it's a roguelike, you know, you're in generated worlds, doing things, but yeah, it looks like your verbs are many. Okay, well, if you have literally dozens of character classes, like depending on how different they are, there might be something going on here. Oh, it features Ape out, finally. Yeah, I, I get that, I see it. Oh, and there's the huge gorilla, there we go. See, that's Ape out out. Insane variety of in-game items. Oh yeah, see there, yeah, it's a bit more. You know what, this is looking actually pretty good. Like, th this, this is the right kind of trailer. Like, I, it's very to the point. This is what this game is, not falling into like the weeds of explaining the mechanics. There's this going on. There's this. Here's this silly thing. I and I get it. Like I get it. This is this is a good trailer. This is making me excited again. Like just the name Street of Rogue. Like all right, it's Street of Rage, Rogue. But it has nothing to do with Street of Rage. Like it's a completely different graphic style and presentation. It looks pretty rad. Honestly, yeah, no, I, I get it now. This looks pretty good. All right, cool. Okay, my attention has been attained. That's weird English, cow cow. All right, uh, does it make a difference? Which of these? I don't know, man, this one's shorter. Trials of Mana, part of the Legend of Mana, except instead of its trial, instead of a legend. World, those are different things. Squeenix, they have the same E. That's a fair thing. That's a tree of Tree Mana. Central figure of the Legend of Mana. I'm not listening to the voiceover at all. If that upsets you, that's probably normal. Was that the sprite? Uh, she's talking in Uwu though. I don't know about that. I mean, this looks fine. This looks pretty good, honestly. Uh, I like dabbled with uh, Secret of Evermore, which is a bad comparison, but it kind of soured me on all the Secret of Mana, which is probably wrong. I just thought it was weirdly clunky, and uh, I don't know. This is a much more modern remake, you know, coming 2020. We're past 2020. I bet a game is fantastic. It's just not the sort of game where I would naturally be drawn to. But looking at this, no, yeah, that looks pretty all right. Um, I wish they had shown like a more, just give me a glimpse of what like a boss fight looks like or something, right? Just to like kind of give me a more full overview of what a game is. But there are long, there's, there's a longer trailer I could have looked like. I would probably have given me that answer. So that's your, your fault. So, Multiwinia, is that it? I don't know what games are. Yeah, I don't know what's a video game. All these years, I've just kind of been, just kind of been uh, interpreting, that's not the right word. It doesn't matter, it's fine. This looks super neat. It's like super early 3D here. It looks like fantastic. I, Okay, so it's like a strategy game, right? That's what the blurb was saying? Will they show how the game looks like in motion? Or is that what the game is in motion? <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. <laughs> I don't know how that would work. Like, you make a decision and then you just see a screenshot of the next state of the world. Oh, that'd be weird. I mean, this looks neat. I just... I, there are other trailers. This is the one I took because it, it called itself trailer. So I'm getting, well, the meteorites. Everyone's falling off a cliff. Maybe they're not falling. What is that? It's like a giant pear. But with like flame shooters. 
So, a, a, fly, a giant pear, basically. You're just kind of repeating yourself here. I don't know what I saw, but I thought it was neat. Yeah, Multiwinia, Survival of the Planet. There's a demo. That's the website if you want to demo it out. Introversion software. Then he had like mind waves coming out of his brain. Okay, well, today I've learned something. Yeah, is that I don't know anything. 